Matt, how many of these can you give us? Like, like in a like. I pray in my sleep. <laughs> so we're live. All right. So, <laughs> so uh, welcome back. I don't really know what this is. Uh, we had a opening cancellation. Stood up on Valentine's Day. <gasps> I don't know what you want to call it. Um, so we figured, fuck it. We have the mics. We have the setup ready. So we brought uh, Matt Audette back on. Hi. And Sarah from Mayflower. Hey, guys. A couple of our favorite people. And we're like, hey, what are you guys doing? And like, uh, Sarah's like, we're going home. And Matt's like, no, we'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, well, if you guys are going to fight, let's do it on microphone. <laughs> the best so, have. fight! Yeah. No, you don't want that. No, nothing. All right. <laughs> She beats me. So, so um, oh. what's going on, guys? What's new? What's what's happening? What's happening in Plymouth? A, a lot happened in Plymouth last week. Yeah, apparently. what happened? Huh? I don't know. People getting hit outside of bars and wait, what? You didn't hear about that? Some kid got hit in like the back of the head outside of a bar. No, I'm not going to name the bar for the sake of it, but I feel like I have a good idea. Of yeah, you could the one or two narrow it down, but yeah. um, so I don't know, just in between. Like uh, where the old post office is and where Speedwell is? Sure. All right, sure. In that, <laughs> so in that range, yeah. Not Speedwell, but in between no, of those not. areas. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I know where it's and, I don't know, just a whole, whole bunch of crazy shit. Like hit, like, with a bottle? I don't know. I'm Honestly, I don't know. I've heard wow. so many different things. Way to, so. like, build up the story and not deliver. I know. I'm, I'm, weak. I'm glad we brought I made the home. whole thing up, so. <laughs> so. What's new at Mayflower, sir? Well, as you guys know, we have a packed tasting room right now. It is insane down there. Like, what is going on? I don't know. I uh, really wish I First did. of all, you have Fat Boyfriend down there. I who, have Fat who, Boyfriend down there. I'm fucking right here. It, it, not well, actually, just, not just Matt is my across the table. But, uh, <laughs> fat Boyfriend Pretzel Company. They do soft pretzels uh, with oh all different flavors. Oh, my God. They had, flavors. like, a... I had a pepperoni pizza pretzel panini. Oh, I had that one, too. It was delicious. Oh Fresh God, mozzarella. So good. Oh. Yeah. It was crazy good. Uh, actually, we talked to him. He's going to be at Second Wind tomorrow, and I'm like downtown right. all day tomorrow. So we're going to squeeze in a recording with him tomorrow. That's yeah, the plan. See you there. Are you going to be Second Wind? Oh, uh, um, you should swing by. We have an art opening at the Craft Beer Cellar. Chris Mendel stuff. Uh, one to three. I think that sounds right. Sure, try that. We'll be playing tomorrow at Tar Bar. You can be playing. So it, uh, we'll you've be been playing all after. over the fucking place. Uh, it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um. <coughs> So when you're not beating up people in front of, uh... don't put that on me. I didn't say it was you. Well, you I just said it was you. You literally <laughs> said it. You literally just. Said I literally that. said that, didn't I? Um, so you've been playing out a lot. Yeah, it's getting busy. It's getting into the springtime. You're just soon. saying you're you're booked through like May. Mm-hmm. So everyone's ramping up, I think, for the upcoming spring summer season. What's Mayflower doing for the? You guys just had a. Uh, uh, we had a cornhole tournament. Cornhole tournament. Mm-hmm. Uh, did how you had a lot of people show up? We had a lot of people. We had twenty four teams. It was uh, wild. Yeah, it was fantastic. A lot of people were very competitive. But very, very good. <laughs> like these, yeah. there's, there's you know, what, there, there's yeah. always that like half is like we're just here to have fun, and the other half is like motherfucker die. Yeah, you know what, it though? was like, pretty the much teams that. that were very competitive. <laughs> that like you can tell they do it regularly. Like they were good. Like Are they professionals. Were, well, they like. They compete oh, you mean regularly, they play all the time. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, uh, like they do competitions, and they were just they were uh, very approachable. Yeah. So it was like you know when they were going against teams that were just there to have fun, like it wasn't like aggressive. There was one team that was aggressive, but they were still nice about it. And nicely aggressive. We, nicely it was aggressive. me and my roommate that were aggressive, and we lost immediately. So yeah, yeah. good work. Yeah. I didn't. I don't know. I didn't think it was going to be like. 20 some like, teams that's pretty great though yeah. 24 teams yep we're gonna do another one this summer that one we could have up to like 40 teams oh, wow. uh, throw some credit out to Brad Bishop who r- runs the whole thing for us nice. so just a guy who's very passionate and you guys had like there. a can jam one last summer didn't you yep Dan Mahoney came on and uh who Dan, Dan Mahoney. Mahoney don't know him yeah used uh, to work at a great never, bar never, never heard of him yeah <laughs> used to work at what <laughs> <laughs> He's one of those guys, like, he's really quiet, yeah. doesn't really say a lot. Oh, wait, he's got a cute dog now. Hates Star Wars. Yeah, he does have a very yeah. cute dog. Oh, my God. Snarls. Cutest mm-hmm. dog ever. Mm-hmm. She got big. Instagram. Yeah. Check out uh, Snarls Barkley. No, there's more to it. Snarls Barkley something on Instagram. Just look for it on okay, Instagram. You'll it find up. it. Uh, so, Matt, where are we playing coming up? 
Tomorrow I'll be at Tar Bar, two to five. I'm uh, filling in. I mean, you can for, put in like times. I have no idea when this episode's going up. So like, oh, like th- let it go. I mean, I do that. Like, I do Tar Bar every Thursday, nine to twelve. Waterfront um, every Tuesday, eight to eleven, and then once we get into the warm season, that moves to nine to twelve. Like outside weather permitting. Every Friday at Speedwell, five to seven. Yeah. Um, I did book like. 16 gigs with Fisherman's View down the Cape through wow. September. That's nice. Yeah, they gave me like a lot of really cool slots. So is that so, like a like every week kind of thing? Or? Um, after like once we get into like April, yeah, they have me like at least like two or three times a month. Uh, like the fourth the week of the Fourth of July, I'm looking at like 10 gigs. Yeah. So it's gonna be, I might die. So it's gonna be ridiculous. Mm, we'll miss you, I guess. Yeah. All right. Be uh, do we have Snarls uh, Instagram? We do. We have Snarls. It's <laughs> Snarls. Quick Bar- segue. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's great, Matt. Yeah. Dog? <laughs> On to more um, Snarls Barkley, the French dog. Uh, the Frenchie. Sorry. So Snarls Barkley, the Frenchie. Great Instagram to follow. Who has 204 followers? Yeah. More than She I could have. use Jesus. more. Um, I think that's about what Inebriar has, which is pretty sad because we've been around since 2011 and she's been around uh, well, you're not a cute uh, French year? bulldog. So. No, not even a year. She came around. Uh, Sometime in the fall. Okay. So less than a year. Yeah, oh. she's just a little guy. Yeah. Cute. Cute a as hell. Gal. Uh are you guys doing um last year you did the beer gardens at the Mayflower Society House? We so, are gonna do a couple pop up society yeah. house. Um those were a lot adventures. of fun. I hit up a few of those. Uh yeah. met those met some time. friends. Because I would just go there to kill time or whatnot and shoot the shit with people who were there. And because you love our beer. That too, yeah, of course. But, like, I had time to kill, so I'd be like, oh, Mayflower's over there, so then I would enable my drinking by going to see you guys. Yeah, we're good at that. Yeah. Um, see you and Pumpkin <laughs> usually was there. Yeah. It was a lot of fun doing that. So <laughs> last, doing last, time I was, last time I was there, like, there was a couple, like, having it, like, so they have kind of, like, tables set out, and I was sitting in one of them. And there was a couple kind of like sitting at the other end of the table. It's kind of like a picnic table type thing. They were it's clear, a beer hall table. They were, German beer hall table. They were clearly having an argument as politely as they could. It was really awkward. It was a lot of fun. Was it about uh, whether or not they should tell you to like get the fuck off their No, table? it was more like... <laughs> it was very vague. I don't fucking like, know Like they guy. knew what they were talking about? <laughs> like, I, I was sitting there first, all right? Oh, okay. Like they knew what they were talking about, but like I obviously didn't. But it was like she was heated. And Damn. I don't think he was getting it. <laughs> and probably didn't get it afterwards, so. Uh, shit happens. Yeah, it happens. It was just kind of fun. Yeah. It was that awkward, fun thing. Uh, have either of you been to Vegas? I have. Where should I go? I'm going on Monday. Oh, you are? Mm-hmm. Never um, been. Don't know anything about it. Don't gamble. I don't gamble either. I went, I probably spent $60 on gambling and lost all of it. Yeah, see, I don't <laughs> even know if I'd spend that much, but I'm, I'm going to spend something because... It's Vegas. Yeah, you kind of have to. But a blackjack I mean, table for like twenty bucks. See what you can get. Yeah. You no. Know? I see. I feel like I'm going to be more like penny slots, and like yeah, if I sit here, they're going to bring me drinks. Yeah, they're going to look you up. That way, you can go spend more money. Thing is, if you want them to bring you drinks, you <laughs> yeah. get a tip. You get a tip. Well, yeah. so. Um, are you implying? I mean, I, are you implying I don't? Is that what you're hinting at? I mean, if you slip me a twenty right now, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> just kidding. I am just kidding. Inaudible wallet folding noises. <laughs> <laughs> My problem is I don't carry cash. Venmo. What? What? Venmo. You don't Venmo. know what Venmo it's is? It's a young people thing where it, they send each other money. I, I know. Great. I know of it. I've never used it. It's awesome. It's yeah. actually I just very convenient. To use it this yeah. year. I've used it three times. Thrice. 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 So you're dating a nerd. What's dating a nerd like? I don't know. Someone that uses the term thrice. I don't know. Yeah, that's a new one. I've never. I, it, it, when she <laughs> said it, I was like, why did you just say that? But yeah, no, it's, it's okay. been a long day. Yeah. It, it is. I it's can't believe week. how busy it is down there. It's crazy. But yeah. you know what? We just released uh, Love and Wrestling. Oh, that's right. That is a new beer. So tell yes. us about that. So that is a. And where does the name come from? Because someone like posted something about the name, and I don't understand it. Well, we posted stuff about the name, and then Craft Beer Seller threw a lovely little shout out to us. About I the think name. that's. So uh, honestly, people. I saw Love and Wrestling, and I thought of Tatum and Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. Did you see Anthony's picture with the with his doll, well, action this figure. doll? And I can say doll it's an because figure. I know it's an action figure, but I can say doll in like a hipster. Anthony, if you're listening to this, I call it an action figure. I defend it's a doll, you. Anthony. 
What <laughs> it was some wrestler that he brought in. So some Lev- wrestler. It was uh, Rick some Flair. wrestler is Ric Flair. Yeah, the Nature Boy. Woo. Woo. I, I would like to point out that Ric Flair has been like semi-retired for most of Sarah's, Sarah's life. life right? <laughs> like he, he's been an old guy for basically the 25 years now. All right, Fish, uh, make a note to edit yourself out of this podcast. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I'll be completely honest. I have no idea what the fuck I'm going to do with this. Right, fair enough. Uh, yeah, so that's Ric Flair. <laughs> so that's uh, well, anyway. he, He's a wrestler. Yes, he is a wrestler. Uh, Anthony is apparently obsessed with him. Yes. And brought him in. Have you not talked off. to Anthony ever? No. Well, yeah. I've had multiple. I attended his I've birthday had, party where there was a lot of wrestling. I've had this. multiple occasions where Anthony has just walked up to me randomly and started quoting Ric Flair, and it took me a good thirty-five seconds before I'm like, "Oh, he's just quoting Ric Flair." At me. <laughs> 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 we're usually like, "What the fuck is he talking about?" <laughs> so is that one of those like ah moments, or is it like a oh yeah? <laughs> a little bit of both. So, uh, so what is the story behind Love and Wrestling? So, Love and Wrestling were actually two of the uh, Brewster boys that came over on the Mayflower ship. So, uh, it's Love of God and Fear of the Devil. Oh. There was also Patience and Fear, who were two of the daughters. They stayed in England, uh, in England, and then there was uh, Jonathan. He wasn't very <laughs> fuck Jonathan. <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> They threw him overboard halfway. <laughs> no, he, I don't think he came either, but and it was just kind of weird. Like, yeah. you have all these, like, really weird names, and all of a sudden it's like, uh, and so, we're out of So, wait, those are actual names. Love is a name in wrestling? Yeah, I'm name? not kidding. Not kidding right now. Uh, research? Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Wrestling as, like, WWE. Love, yeah. love and wrestling Brewster. Like if you would like to look into this, we have a lovely poster in our bathroom. Uh, and the upstairs First, lovely marble bathroom, or the downstairs like in, everyone in, pees their bathroom. In the downstairs, pee everywhere, everybody pee. no, everywhere. <laughs> everywhere, everywhere you pee. Everywhere. We just have the poster everywhere. Pees on everywhere. Uh, no, we, we have a we have a poster because we want people to look at the poster and be like, oh, that's a lot of pilgrims. And then right underneath that, the poster's divided. It's all the pilgrims that survive, which was like six. No, it's about half. Yeah, half. but at the same time, it's facing behind the toilet, so I can't really pay attention to it because I'm facing the other way. Oh, well, okay. For women, it's... So, so. was it a female who named this beer, or is it a man? It was actually a female. No our, shit, because uh, she's our... sitting down reading the poster being like, oh, look at that. <laughs> who the she hell named actually, their kid wrestling? She actually picked out this name for this beer before we had the poster. Before she peed? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, boys. We, we went um, over about how this podcast, we don't know what we're doing with, right? Yeah, we're just right. running with this one. Yeah. Um, so Sam Gauze, who is our Connecticut and Rhode Island sales rep, um, she competed uh, in the... She competed in the arm wrestling thing. She did. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. she competed as Love. And then we had Tober uh, Gleason, who is our... Was um, he wrestling? He was wrestling. Uh, he was something. Yeah. <laughs> he was something. <laughs> he was wrestling with something. Uh, well, at the end of the night, he was... Wrestling with sobriety. He was fun. <laughs> In fairness, we uh, were all wrestling with sobriety. That we talked to that. Oh night. God, no. Oh wait, no. I'm thinking of Scotty at the Hop Fest. It's yeah. <laughs> Scotty yeah, was. Yeah. I was very drunk when I was on that. Oh, podcast. were you? Oh, yeah. yeah. In, In fairness, we were all very drunk at the end of that. Yeah. I, I feel like one of the drunkest people we've spoken to recently was uh, Scotty. Oh, at, Scotty at, was at the Hop Petition. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you should go listen to that. That's fun. it's. I've literally had people texting me like, "Wow, <laughs> Scotty had a few." <laughs> Scotty having a few is a yeah. scary thing. Yeah. I love it. It was a lot of fun. It was thing. great. Well, there's nothing like it's like I've been drinking oatmeal stouts all day for breakfast. Yeah, and it, then it came to hot petition. It is oatmeal. Yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, love and wrestling yeah, named so after actual people. Named after actual people. A lot of people have been making glow references it, that show the, on the label. Definitely has that glow feel to it because I definitely was thinking the same thing. Oh, it's really good. What Gl- is it? It's glow glamour- on Netflix? Glow? I've never watched it. I, okay, so sorry, for- I don't know the acronym. It's Glamours. No, no. Uh, whoa, whoa. It's Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. Okay. I used to watch it a lot when I was 13. <laughs> it was on really late at night. Didn't it would- really have the channel. but No, no. I had the channel. It <laughs> was like USA. Fuzzy. <laughs> um, it was obviously really attractive ladies for the 1980s. So they all had like huge hair. And uh, they wrestled very badly. Sure. A lot of so. hair. There's a lot of hair. Um, it, and there was a Matthew. lot of like, ooh, <laughs> yes, maybe then. this week something will go wrong and I'll see a nipple, maybe. Um, it, it was very cheesy, but 
bring me back to being 13. Yeah. Right? Dude, th- <laughs> that was 13. It was Jesus. like us. Uh, it, no, it was 13 in the 1980s. And there was no internet. Woof. Yeah. All right. So, okay, for the record, this when he was, was 13, I'm probably the only other person who had been born. Maybe. What were you, like two? Five? So it would have been 1988. Eight. Oh, Again, it was right before I was born. Go fuck yourselves. And, and <laughs> we can edit her out of this, right? Oh, <laughs> and I was even younger than that. The, so. the number yeah. of times I could edit people out. The number of times I've asked Matt to be edited out, and he doesn't get edited out. Well, at some point, he will have his own podcast again. So. Oh, snap. Wow. It's it's tough to edit out a guy who, you know, yeah. might actually. Maybe you could give his microphone back, and he could I could, talk. but it's mine now, so fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Um. So I'm back. Yeah, it was a. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. I've been getting uh, hijacked by fish. This yeah, I know, right? Uh, but it was a wrestling show. It was bad by wrestling standards, and it was right. all ladies. And so Netflix came out with a show to, you know, they're kind of like a love letter to it. Like yeah, kind of like based <laughs> on real life, yeah. but not actually what happened. Um, and it's fucking great. Like it's really really good. Mark Maron's in it. I don't like Mark Maron. But he was really good in it. Um, yeah. I, well, yeah. I highly a recommend. lot of people have been making the reference to that yeah. based off that label. Because the label, like, I has like that kind of, like, like neon, like, neon light. Don't fucking touch his microphone. I saw you. I will slap the shit out of your hand. You touch Matt's. I think it's got that nice, like, red light, <laughs> so, like, red light <laughs> district kind of, like, look to it. it. I think it's Guys. cool. It's promiscuous. It's <laughs> red light Guys. district. It's, it's a promiscuous looking beer. <laughs> I, like, you, I think it if looks If you would cool. like to see the label, either come into the tasting room at 12 Barsnick Road in Plymouth, Massachusetts, yep, or come and visit us on our website at www.mayflowerbrewing.com. But yeah, it's it's got the can has a very 1980s neon Whoa. aesthetic to it. <laughs> and I'm trying to make a point here, and Sorry. you're not helping. And for the record, I... Was told I couldn't take Matt's mic, so I took Andy's. Are you because crying? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you did he did recently suffer some head trauma. Oh, it's okay for you to take Matt's mic. God damn it! You give it back. First of all, they're all my mics right now because possession is nine tenths of the law. What? I don't know, dude. I've been drinking. I'm tired. Yeah. I'm giving the mic back. Okay. Oh, hey yo. This is why we don't let you do shit. Unreal. Anyway. Let that guy do. <laughs> Sorry, you let this guy in here? Is this the kind of clientele you want? I, wow, you listen know, to the quiet. Don't put her in that position. <laughs> I'll, I'll even vouch for on Whoa, that. that can, we edit, can we edit in some cricket noises right there? Because that was awesome. Um, uh, you guys bring people in here, so. Yes, I do. <laughs> you fish your person. I bring you in here. Fish so long as he doesn't crash into a tree, he does. Jesus <laughs> Christ, that happened like two days ago. I know, right? <laughs> They're on my freaking bone, dude. <laughs> He's also got a paper cut. you want to pour some vinegar on that, too? Or? I cut my so finger the other day. Yeah? Aww. Mine's on a paper cut. Aww. Aww, That's muffins. Paper cut. Yeah. You guys okay? Mm-hmm. You want me to call the ambulance? Actually, Jordan was able to fix me up when oh. I cut my finger. Did you, like, give it a little kiss? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, no, we love having you guys on. It's great. We, I don't know what we're going to do with this episode because it's just nonsense. Um, so, Sarah, you already plugged Mayflower, which is great. Uh, oh, we never – what – actually, what is uh, Love and Wrestling? We keep going back to this because we get sidetracked. Yeah, so uh, what, and- what kind of beer is it? Tell us about it. Oh, yeah, it. so it's a New England it's double IPA, good. 8% alcohol. Um, so this is really our first stab at doing a New England-style double IPA. Nice. Um, we have plenty of beers, but like you know, we've always done like we have traditional English style. We have the American style, which is New World, which by the way came in third in the um, IPA competition, which was basically all the milkshake and uh, New Englands that ten different breweries had to offer. That's the competition. The competition. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. And we came in third on that. With yeah, Jeff Nardone style. gave me a lot of shit because we never actually gave whose beer was who. Well, we came in third. Yep. So. Behind Stellwagen was first. No, was Stellwagen first? Yeah, Stellwagen, I don't know who came in second. Uh, Untold? Oh, okay. All right. I'm pretty sure it was Untold. Um, and then us. So. 
but you guys are in our backyard. We're in your backyard. And uh, not to mention everybody who competed in that fantastic breweries. Oh my god, it was so much fun. Yeah. And uh, we are planning another beer mug painting here. Yes, uh, March twenty. Are you gonna pull that date out of your head? Because that's fucking amazing. Because I have no idea when it is. Oh my god, I have to look at this. <laughs> that's specific insane, date, but dude. Like, I couldn't even tell you what month it was. Mm-hmm. It was. It's May twenty third. I was going to say I the 21st, but March. it's the 23rd. You said you March. Oh, I say did March. say March. It you did say March, which I got a little panicked. Like, really? Fuck, that's soon. No. So May 23rd. Okay. That's still, that's way better than I would have done. I would have been like, it's this year. It's um, kind of my job. <laughs> but it, it's... Have, uh, you'll know about it when we post it. Well, yeah, it's, it's already... <laughs> like day of, Andy's like, no. something pops up saying, you have an event today. Yeah, he's like, dude, oh, there's so many shit. times where it's like, oh, fuck, we got that this week. No, it's already, it's already on the Facebook page. Um, it's on my list of things to do. Update the website. But uh, you guys are always awesome. You let us record here. We super appreciate it. And you're always like, Andy, just show up. But we, I insist on asking because it's the polite thing to do. Mm. Like, stop bugging me. Just come. And frequently it's like, can we record in like an hour and a half because I fucking <laughs> forgot to ask you. And she's like, I said yes. Um, but we do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Hi. We love you, having you. you. Plus, you we have, have this that. whole room that's not being used. So. This is great. Sweet. Yeah. You, you have that. You fit into the Plymouth mentality of, sure, let's do it. I learned from the best, Jeff Nardone. Wow. Everything you say is yes. Do you have it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where to go with that. <laughs> we'll just skip Congratulations. On. Are you Matt. okay? <laughs> Congratulations, Matt. <laughs> um, and uh, Matt, is there somewhere people can go to find out where you're playing? Do you have a website yet? Um, if you just follow me on Facebook. So you don't have a website? No. Are you aware of the internet? Y- what? <laughs> yeah, I am aware of the internet. I just don't like to be so superficial about, like, all of it. It's not superficial. Like, what yeah. if you have, like, I heard stories of people stuffing money into your pants. That was funny. Yes. What if she but she was also, like, very old. So I, I'm not going to count it. Yeah, but what if she wants to follow you around and stuff more money into your pants? I don't think she has Facebook. I'm okay with people stuffing money into I don't think pants. she knows what the internet is. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, no, I just, if, uh, like, I get... People like add me on Facebook. If I have mutual friends, I'll accept it. I just yeah. don't accept the random like Russian girl names that are like completely I, I've random been and shit. A, uh, an onslaught of uh, I think people from India. It's just no mutual like, friends. Three or four yeah, days. Like, uh, they've been on uh, Facebook for like I don't know twelve hours. There is one, the best one I ever got in my life, and I actually I have a picture of it on my phone, like way deep in my pictures. And it's this that guy. That requests me, and I really, no, really no, no, I fucking know you. It's this kid. Accept it already. It's this random kid from India, and it's his face, and it has, <laughs> it's like a profile shot, and there's like literally a clearly photoshopped suit. Oh like, really? On his body. And I feel like so you should make great. that your your uh, Facebook photo. I could. That'd be funny. I have to try and find it. It's like it's out of control. Oh, it's like, so ridiculous. I remember seeing it, and like I thought it was like the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Nice. So um, this <laughs> has been an episode of I don't know what random ramblings, ra- rando, random mm. inebri stuff. This is inebri stuff. Can I bring well, one I, thing up to you real quick? No. Have you watched True Detective at all? No. Oh, okay. You should. No. Fuck you. Get your own mic. We have four mics. Just so, write. <laughs> if you just want to write it down, I'll say it. No, I'm sorry. I have to. It's goddamn so good. Uh, it's very uh, so good. Uh, Season uh, three of True Detective is great. You should watch it. Do that every time. He, oh, he's muting me. God damn it. <laughs> okay, so we were talking about. Yeah. God, it's so good. It's very good. It's really Mahershala good. Ali. Oh God, he's Wolf. fantastic. What a guy. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think it's it's basically the best. Well, season one was great. This is close enough. We'll have to see how it ends because season one was like the best. Hello. Season one was television I've ever borderline seen. Borderline perfect. Life. Season yeah. two was really God, well cast, shit. but not great. <laughs> It was well cast, it but was the a really story good cast, was it, but it was garbage. It just didn't work. And then season three was so far has been really, really good. Yeah, I'm super excited about seeing where it goes. Two more episodes, baby. Pound me. We did a pound, so there it goes. Please, please never ask me to pound you again. No, it was a fist pound. Okay, Relax. please. Come on, dude. I'm just, dude. Your girlfriend's right here. It's gonna be awkward. She doesn't mind. This is a family establishment. Uh, Sarah, Sarah, they can't hear you say that. Hold on. I don't want to say it again because I don't want people to understand Hello. it. No. Just saying that people come here. No. Uh, Matt, you want to wrap us up? <laughs> hey, this has been a great episode of Inebriac, guys. I'd like to thank Andy and Fish and the lovely Sarah Annis.
and Thanks. myself, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Thanks for uh, checking out the podcast. And uh, don't forget to check out our other podcasts on the Inebri Art Podcast Network. There's uh, the Bar Talk. There's Old Colony Cast. There's, of course, the Inebri Art Podcast. And our latest, uh, Retro Redoctopus, a kind of nerd uh, genre podcast that you can check out now, all available on our website at inebri-art.com. And uh, pretty much available everywhere that podcasts are available on Stitcher, iTunes, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, all those things. And uh, if you don't see it where you're looking, let us know. We'll try to get onto that as well. And you can also email us at inebriart at yahoo.com with your questions, complaints, and suggestions. And uh, also, if you could take the time to rate and review us on iTunes, that would be phenomenal. That helps us get more exposure and bring more of these great podcasts to your ears. And uh, thanks again for listening.